everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button if you love wigs weaves colorful wigs fake hair all of the above hit subscribe today i'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me i don't do these too often so i figured why not film one today i'm gonna be going through everything i do when i do my makeup just pretty much everything i do when i achieve this look today eyeshadow included as you guys know i rarely do eyeshadow so you know it's a special day when miss chrissy j does eyeshadow today i'm collaborating with hj weavebeautyhair.com and basically they sent me some 613 bundles to color and show you guys how it colors how well it takes colors how well it curls i'm going to go through all of that in this video so make sure that you watch to the end if you want to purchase the same hair that i have on my head today so hjweavebeautyhair.com sent me some bomb 613 bundles to color this beautiful sky blue color i also used a new dye today not your average adore or manic panic which i love but i want to try something new so i'm going to be doing a mini kind of try review on that watch to the end um yeah so if you would like to see how i achieve this sky blue look then keep watching so guys whenever i do this method i always make a wig i never just put the bundles in there just because it's way faster and easier to just make it into a wig and just to soak it right into the pot so today i'm using a new brand called celeb luxury i'm using one of their color wash dyes to achieve this blue look so I start off with pouring the dye inside of the hot steam and boiling water and I just stir it up a bit just because it comes out kind of patchy when it's in water. Uh, so I just stir it up a little bit just to get it nice and right, you know, stir fry, stir fry. Um, <laughs> then I just put my wig right on in and just make sure I get all of the dye on the wig. Yes. I actually decided to just plop this wig on a stand because you guys know I always style them on my head because you know I got skills like that, you feel me? But today I just decided to put it on a wig stand and just create some baby hairs. Now I didn't finish cutting off all the lace so it may look like it's a lot of lace left on which is fine. I'm going to start plucking it then I'm going to just fix the baby hairs a little bit just to get it to lay down. I feel like this way is way easier than doing it on my head so this is like my new I guess go to as far as styling my wigs. straighten the whole wig as you can see it is straight into perfection now I'm going to lay it down with some got to be ultra glue and my blasting free spray so that's dry so I'm just gonna take my got to be and then just spray around my hairline And it looks so natural blends in with my skin because I already put foundation on it. So today's foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. But before I use that, because I almost forgot, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. And it looks like this. And it's super hydrating. It's for dry skin. I asked one of the Sephora employees and it is amazing. Like, as you can see, my skin was so dry and it just like... It's literally drinking up this product. Fenty Beauty Foundation is a little bit darker than me. I bought my stuff online. I didn't really get to say that in the last video because everybody was like jumping down my throat. But I bought it offline and it looked like it was my shade. And it's it's not so far off from my skin tone, but it's a little bit darker. But what it does is it looks dark and then it kind of like, I don't know, it blends in. Yeah, 
gonna fill out my brows I got my brows waxed so if they look super skinny it's because I got them waxed even though I told the lady I want them thick my brows are already thin so she tried but it still came out like really really thin take this blending brush right here and just blend out all this concealer with my blending brush which is I love And I like to use a generous amount because I really like my eyes to be really like be under eye eyes, you know. And I feel like the more you bring this up, the tighter your eyes get. Brush right here, and I'm just gonna tap it out. I'm also gonna bring some of my lid because I am doing eyeshadow today. I usually don't, but because, I don't know, I just felt like to be being creative today. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do eyeshadow. Why not? Don't sleep on me, I can do eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this Nika K. I got it from the Beauty Supply store really fast because I needed like powder and I didn't feel like going all the way to Sephora because it's far from me. So I just went to the Beauty Supply store, so whatever. So this is Nika K and it was $4.99 and it's still on the thing and it looks like this. And I think it's pretty good for it to be $4.99 and it's not even like a Sephora brand or like anything luxurious. It's not that bad. So I'm just going to go into it like this with my angle brush that I got from Forever 21. Kind of hit it like that. And I'm just going to kind of like sweep up in this area. And I know that this is coming up. I'll fix that in a minute. taking my milk jumbo pencil by NYX and I'm just going to apply it on my lid just to get it nice and primed to put eyeshadow on there I'm going to this is a really old I use really old palettes by the way I'm very old school <laughs> when it comes to palettes I'm not up on anything I know Huda Beauty she has really good palettes um, if you guys have any like ideas on like good eyeshadow palettes, palettes, let me know below because I'm not like the eyeshadow girl. This is an old one. This is from this is the 120 color palette shadow from BH Cosmetics, and this is the third edition. They have like five. This is the third. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna use the same color as my hair and build off that. I want it to be like really, really matte. So I'm just gonna like pack that on because it matches my lid perfectly. And look how amazing the color packs on with 
the jumbo pencil now if i was just to use this by itself it wouldn't be this vibrant because this is such a cheap palette and it's so old um but because i use the jumbo pencil it kind of like it makes your eyeshadow pop so i think i'm just going to go into my party palette and i'm going to go into this brown right here and i'm just going to go like in my crease um so Cosmetics Tulip Floor Blush Duo and it looks like this. I'm going to take this orange right here. I'm just going to give my cheeks some orange because I live for an orange blush. I live for an orange blush. Just blend that out a little bit. I like a lot of blush. I don't care. It doesn't really show that much because I just blend it well. So, Taking my highlight brush which is this and I'm just going to slightly because this is such like a really like you have to kind of like dust it out so just slightly just a little bit just a little bit on the top nothing crazy okay. and I'm gonna also go underneath my brown bone now I'm just gonna spray my face with max um, fix plus uh, let me just turn it over. Okay, guys, and that is all for this look today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know below what you think about this look that I'm rocking today. Let me know what you think about the hair, the makeup. You know, I had to throw the shades on and just be really extra with it. But um, this is how the hair came out. I actually just went ahead and curled it. Only because I didn't have, I didn't really like how it looked straight. It just looked so bland. Just gave it some chunky curls using my curling iron from Duval.com. I have a code. You guys can get this iron as well as my pink flat iron from Duval.com. Use my code Chrissy70 for money off. Yeah, the hair is gorgeous. I'm loving it. The makeup, everything. Let me know what you guys think below about this look. Make sure you go check out HJ Weave Beauty Hair for your 613 bundles. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, keep slaying.